Uh, do you believe that people can change gender? Um, I believe they can, but it all depends. Like, princess is free, but once you turn into one, technically there's two. But yeah, people can change gender. Alright, cool. Yeah. And if people can change gender, do you think that people can change race as well? No. So why can't people change their race if they can change their gender? They're two different things. Race is to do with colour. You can't really change colour. If you're born with one colour, stick to it. But you could change gender, but race, I don't know. But wouldn't you say there's more like similarity between like a, a, a black man and a white man like genetically than like a, a man and a woman? Nothing's different. Like, I don't know what else to say about that, but like nothing is different between a white or black man. You just, why, why do you want to change race? I don't know. Some people might want to change their race, some people might want to change, I don't know. I've never heard of that before. Rachel. Yeah, the Rachel DeLiesel, like there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of uh, white people that have got like skin injections to become like darker skinned. And there's a lot of like black people in like we Western countries that like bleach. Like Michael Jackson, he changed race. Yeah. yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. But I still believe that. She can't change your race. Wait, okay, let me ask you another question. Do you think changing your race is uh, like cultural appropriation? Most definitely. But then why isn't it like uh, like gender appropriation or sex appropriation to change your like gender and get sex changed? Um, I'm not sure. I, like, it's not my business. If they want to change the gender, they can. The lights are on, but nobody's home. She nearly understood as well, but that last remaining brain cell just couldn't quite pull her through. You can tell a lot of these Muppets just don't think for themselves. If a bunch of her woke little friends told her tomorrow that you can change your race, then she'd be agreeing with them. Obviously, we need to replace the teachers and send in Michael. Get some help. Can you tell us what a safe space is? I mean, a place where you're not going to get hurt or ridiculed. And so on a college campus, if there's people with like Halloween costumes that maybe make you feel uncomfortable, does that make it not safe anymore? Yeah, that's, that's not a safe place. So it's violent, it's not safe at all to be no. just seeing those Halloween costumes. Mm -hmm. So if you saw like a white person wearing like a sombrero and, and so that'd be, that's not safe? No, because that's, that's ridicule, that's being made fun of. It's using that as a caricature. And uh, you're not joking, are you? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this, times have really changed. I can't believe how insensitive these people are these days. Yeah. It's... I mean, wearing these costumes and trying to have fun on Halloween, I'm not sure where they think they can get that idea. No clue. You're still not joking, are still you? Still not joking. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just talking about the, con the issues of the day. My outfit is offensive. Are you Mexican? No. Yes. I think it reaffirms stereotypes that are offensive to people. It's not yours. <laughs> Do you find my outfit offensive? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because it's not your culture. Um, you don't really understand what their culture means and what it means to wear these things, like the hats and the maracas. You, know, you sort of have to understand where all of this comes from for it to not be cultural appropriation. With this generation, it always seems to be the ones that it doesn't affect, they get the most offended. I don't know if it's because they want to be a part of something, because they want an excuse to be angry, but most of the time, the people that it could offend don't actually give a shit. Does my outfit offend you? You look, no, 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 you look nice. Do you like my costume? Yes. Does it offend you? No. Um, do, you like, do you like my outfit? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Does my outfit offend you? No, not at all. No, no not that. That's good. Let's use, let, let's use our quiet voices, please. Calm down. <laughs> uh, stop acting like a child, and I will. Can I ask you what you identify as? Identify? Eth eth ethnicity. I identify as an American. Not uh, an African American? The, uh, Are you African American? I didn't get elected into my position because of the color of my skin or do any, any race baiting stuff that it seems like you're promoting here. Oh, I'm promoting race baiting. I'm promoting race baiting. Yeah, that's exactly what you're doing because you're making his race the issue when it doesn't need to be and he's obviously not got a problem with it. The only one that's got a problem with it and making it an issue is you, you muppet. No, I think you're promoting privilege, tokenism. What the fuck are you talking about? How are we going to get rid of racism and stop talking about it? Do you identify as black? No, it's a serious question because you might not identify. 
Can you please put the mic? Thank you. Okay. Uh, when I Less walked into, when I'm I not walked into the question. room, I am I not done with my question. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, young lady, young lady. I, I'm just asking you to listen to me. While and and, I, and I'm question. about to answer okay. the first question. But I didn't, I didn't finish my question. Okay. Yeah, I'm black. Less than nine percent of the people in this room are black. And we're all not here for you. Hang on a minute. If we're going by her rules, how does she know that less than 9% of the room is black? Maybe they identify as someone else. And also, why is she so angry? Relax. Ma'am. He Don't assume my gender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Don't, do that. Don't assume your gender? Yeah. What are your pronouns then? Zay and Z and Princess. Princess? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. We calling you to boycott Starbucks, McDonald's, Disney. Pizza Hut, Burger King, Pepsi, Domino's, Papa John's, Nike, CeraVe, and Airbnb, Subway, Walmart, and Dasani, and the list goes on. This demonstration should make our demands clear. What did she just say? Papa John's, Nike. Nike. She wants to ban Nike. It's just like a man. You just seem very misogynistic, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. What is misogyny? Why are you using words that you don't even know the definition no, of? No, no, that's not what I meant. I think, she's I think you are misogynistic, though. But what does misogynistic mean, though? Um, like, just so I know what you're calling me. Okay, so the reason I said it is just, again, based on the... the. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Out your eyes. Raise your eyebrows. Stop smiling. That's your model face. Sensational. I literally have no idea what these men are doing wrong in this video. Did they try to talk to you, bother you, harass you? Did one of them try to maybe record a video of you? They did nothing. And let's be honest, the only weirdo here is her for filming random people in the gym, exercising. It's weird. If a guy did it, everyone would call him a perv. Are you attacking men for simply existing in the gym? The only clown-like behavior in this video that doesn't belong in the gym is you. I want to see what you look like under the mask. Like, why are you hiding your face? I'm hiding my face for the same reason you're wearing makeup. He called. So I went to Google. I went to Google, I put Pinky Doll Naked, and I click on pictures. And what I see, what I see, there's a lot of page. There's a lot of- Michael, get some help. Not right now, bro. I know you got out of the car, what you want to do, be afraid? Uh, excuse me, can we not do this? Hey, y'all, can we not do this? I know we don't. Can we not do this? I know. We can talk like grown men. Can we not do this? No, no, that's I know, okay. but you, you got out no, the car took, then. No, I'm just trying, I got out the car because I'm trying to feel your energy, man. You just pulled up. Man, you just came sir, there with your family. Sir, you right here on the street. We trying to come out too, sir. We leave you the car. I know, but come on, sir. This other car's coming too. Man, God bless you, lover, man. You got I know. I'm calling car. you sir, right? That's respect, right? Did I disrespect you? That's the love. See, that's what real men do. You feel me? That's what real men do. <laughs> See? He's trying to get See? To that's what real men do. <laughs> See? It's too much to risk and too much to lose fighting on the street as a grown man. Most of the time it's not worth it unless you really have to protect yourself or your loved one. And it's always good to see two men squash it instead of resort to violence. It says here, on our way to the hospital, we went from anger to real love. John Doe and I have checked on each other twice since yesterday. Lifetime brothers now. That's what I'm talking about! Because in a self-defense situation, if you are a big monster human and you want to fight me and you square off with me, guess what I'm going to do? Run away. Because I don't want I don't want to get involved. Even if out on the street and you start yelling at me and saying you want to fight me, I don't want to fight you. It doesn't matter. I don't care if I can beat you or not. What if you stab me? What if you sue me after I get done throwing you onto the concrete? There's a, a million bad things that can happen and almost nothing good. Men can get fired from their job and be in debt while going through heartbreak. And the only thing they will say is, I will figure it out. I mean, what else can you do other than figure it out? If you sit around moping, feeling sorry for yourself, you're not gonna get anywhere. You gotta pick yourself up, figure out what you need to do and do it. Your blindfolds are coming off. Three, two, one. You see him over there? Yeah, not a lot of facial hair. You, do, you want, do, you wanna, do you wanna kiss that or? I kinda like minimal facial hair. Well, you could always look. I 
Anh có ngồi ấy. A few minutes later. There is someone who wants to steal Anthony away from you, Kaylee. How about this? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Ava, Ava, Ava. The lesson is here. Just because you're not one girl's type, don't mean you're not another's. Get out my house. Get out my house. I'm not going to say it no more. I'm asking you to leave my house. Come on, let's go. Good luck to you, Holmes. Let's go. I'm asking you to leave. Good luck, Holmes. Now the caption says the husband's caught the wife cheating and now she's having a meltdown and trying to get rid of him. A lot of women will do this when they get caught. They'll try and turn it on you, try and make you look like the bad one. But don't fall for that bullshit. There's no getting out of it if she cheats. She belongs to the streets. 